Hey everybody, what's good? What's going on? JB here with another Cyber Insight live stream. Today's going to be a continuation of the short little series that I'm putting together, which is giving you some tips and tricks on how to go about building a secure network. So uh, if you followed the video, uh, the first one that we did a couple days ago, you know that really this is all based off of using the uh, DISA STIG for uh, network infrastructure policy. So uh, if you aren't familiar with any of that is, please go check out that first video. I give you a whole bunch of links on how to use the DISA STIG viewer tool and to get this particular STIG that we're using kind of as our baseline for the advice that I'm giving you. So I'm going to go uh, hop over into the stick viewer, bring that up, and we are going to talk about uh, our tip for today. So let me go over and bring that up real quick. So um, in the first video, we talked about needing to have the right diagrams and documentation for our environments. Today's uh, tip is going to be a combination of three different things here, uh, or three different findings or controls. Uh, within this particular uh, STIG checklist, and that is dealing with identifying and controlling external network connections for your environment. So this isn't so much of a concern when we're talking about smaller organizations, but once you get into larger environments that have multiple sites, it might not just be one internet circuit that you have that you know is, is being used by the entire organization. You could end up with multiple internet circuits. You could end up with certain geographic locations that for whatever reason went ahead and bought their own internet circuits. So you kind of lose a little bit of visibility as far as what it is that actually is, uh, you know, the IP space and the domain space that your organization is responsible for. Same thing in regards to if you're using any type of cloud services that your environment has to go through. So uh, really, the thing is you want to make sure that you are aware of um, what exists and what your environment is connected to, uh, both from an internet perspective and a cloud perspective. So if we look at the first control here, now remember all of this stuff is written from the perspective of the Department of Defense and government. We aren't really messing with any of that. I'm just kind of using this and overlaying it in a way that makes sense uh, from a business perspective. So this is talking about making sure that all external connections are validated and approved by your organization, right? So if you're gonna have uh, connections to the cloud or you're gonna have internet circuits, you're gonna have these going to different service providers, you're gonna have these at different locations, things like that. You want to make sure that any of the stuff that's happening uh, in that regard is being approved by uh, your company or organization that you work for, that you don't have people going off and being a cowboy and just plugging stuff up. Kind of following up on that, uh, it's not only a one-time thing that you want to do, and that's kind of what this next control talks about, is that these connections that you have, you want to make sure that you're reviewing and documenting them on a semi-annual basis, right? Um, you don't want to just, yep, okay, we approved this internet circuit. It has this IP space. It maybe has additional uh, domains that go along with it. And then you kind of just forget about it. And then it's just hanging out there. You want to be doing kind of uh, continuous checks on these things periodically to make sure that they're still applicable still being used by your environment. And more importantly, you have the correct configurations and protection mechanisms in place to be able to monitor and manage them. And lastly, this other control kind of um, goes along the same, uh, same type of vein as what this was as far as uh, internet circuits and stuff like that. Again, this is completely from a DOD perspective. Um, and it's pretty much, again, just uh, making sure that any time that you have any of those types of connections, your uh, organization leadership is signing off on them. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, tip number two. And uh, I will be back tomorrow with another tip for you. If you have any comments or questions, drop those uh, in right now or comment on the, the video if you're watching it later. 
And uh, yeah, if this is useful to you, hit the like button. If this is your first time checking out the channel or checking it out on Twitch, I appreciate a follow. Um, and yeah, look forward to putting out more uh, good content for you. And if nobody has anything to say, then we will go ahead and keep this short and wrap it up. So I will talk to all of you soon. All right, bye. Mm -hmm.